Hello everyone and welcome to this new Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle the drag and drop functionality. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that how we can handle the mouse over using the action change. So using the same action change, we will be handling the drag and drop. Okay. So for this particular tutorial, I will be using the Internet Heroku app. So let me open the browser here and let me go to this Internet Heroku app and here you need to click on this drag and drop and you need to drag this a box to the b and once you drag it and drop it the, it will be changed to b to a okay and this is the same functionality which we need to automate using Selenium with python okay and let me go to the python here let me create one new file i am naming it as dragon drop and the first thing is that we need a driver right so basically browser is equals to web driver dot chrome and let's import this web driver and once we have this one let's maximize the browser so browser dot maximize window and now we will be passing or opening the URL so browser dot get and here we need to provide the URL so simply let me go here and copy the URL from here and paste it here now once we open the URL the first thing is that we have two things here so if I open the website so this is let me refresh this one so this is the one element let me inspect this one and let me show you so this is a column a and if i expect this one this is a column b so we have two different elements i need to drag element a to element b right so th this is very important because we need to identify both of the elements here okay so let me refresh this one here let me inspect this one again here so we have the ID which is column A and we have ID for the column B as well. So simply what I do is that I have a source element from where I need to drag. So I will name it as source element equals to browser dot find element by dot ID. And let's import the by here and let's provide the ID and the ID is basically a column A so let me go here and let me copy the ID from here and let me go back and provide the ID now in the similar way we need to have a destination element where we need to drop it so destination underscore element equals to browser dot find element and again by dot id and we need to provide the id here and here let me copy the id so id is column b so let me copy this one and let me provide this one here now we have both source element and the destination element now let's get the object of the action chains. So actions equals to action chains and we need to pass our browser to this object. And let's import the action chains here. Now that's really easy using this actions dot now you need to find a drag and drop here so will you find a drag and drop by offset you will find a drag and drop so go with this simple one in our upcoming tutorial i will be showing you how to use this drag and drop by offset right now we need to use a drag and drop and here click on this one so here we need to provide source element comma the destination element 
And once we have both, then we need to perform the action. And here I am putting some time dot sleep so that we can see the execution. And here now let's quit the browser. Browser dot. Okay, so we are good to go. We have using we are using the drag and drop from the action cheese. We have provided the source element and we have provided the destination element and we are performing drag and drop from source to the destination. So uh, let's run this one and see what happens here. So it will open the application URL and then it will drag and drop. So still it haven't opened this one. Seems like some problem. So let me stop this one here and let me run this again because apparently it looks like a correct script. So let's run this again. So I should open the browser and should drag A to the B. You see that now B is in the first place and A is in the second place. So basically that's how you can handle the drag and drop functionality. You need to identify the source element, you need to identify the destination elements, then you need to create an object of action chains, you need to pass a driver to that and using that action chains you need to use a method drag and drop and this drag and drop methods will get an argument of source element and the destination element and then you need to perform your action. So it, it will drag the element from the source, then drop it to the destination. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.